Siamo con Deborah Piana, vincitrice dell'edizione 2023 di Appennini MTV Stage Race. Allora, com'è stata questa settimana? È stata una settimana bella impegnativa, e dislivello notevole, e chilometri tanti, però allo stesso tempo il paesaggio ha ripagato le fatiche, quindi è stato veramente bello e sono veramente felice di aver partecipato agli Appennini. Dalla seconda frazione in poi sei stata praticamente sempre in controllo, eh, ti sei portata a casa anche tre tappe, eh, direi una, un'ottima prestazione da parte tua Sì, la, la prima ho voluto un po' studiare un po' l'avversaria che temevo di più e la seconda ho voluto accelerare un po' il ritmo e volevo vincere la queen stage quindi ci sono riuscita e anche quello è stato un po' il mio primo obiettivo e da lì ho in- gestito un po' insomma ecco, e purtroppo una scivolata ieri mi ha fatto perdere un po' il vantaggio e le botte oggi si sono fatte sentire ma nonostante tutto sono riuscita a portarmi a casa la generale, quindi sono contenta di te. A chi consiglieresti questa corsa a tappe? Un po' a tutti, è che ovviamente bisogna essere un po' preparati perché appunto eh, chilometri di dislivello sono fermi. Era anche la tua prima esperienza in una corsa a tappe da sola, come è stata, come è andata? Sì, ho fatto corse a tappe un po' più brevi da soli, eh, da 3-4 giorni. E è stata una bella sfida anche questa, sì. Tornerai l'anno prossimo a difendere la maglia? Eh, perché no? Day 1 is a long time ago already, eh? it feels very long, but... Um, yeah, today was actually racing like day 1, so for you guys from the start. But it's been an amazing week, we have great weather, we have great views, we have a mix of everything, big climbs, short climbs, single track, technical, easy, uh, good food, make a lot of good friends and this is Appeninica. With comparison to your old experience at Appeninica, the technical level, trails? Um, I think with uh, heavy rain, uh, the trails been a bit more technical, more natural. But then the weather was more dry, so it was more easy. We didn't have the, the crazy rain that three years. We had a lot of mud and crazy circumstances. So we are really lucky with the weather this week. And I think uh, some st- I remember some, some parts of the stages. But in general, I think it's, it's, it's really, especially the last two days were really, really nice here. Your goals for the rest of the season? Uh, I have uh, to fight with Tim, also where I fight this week for the national championship, 8th of October. And then I will travel to South America for two months to do some racing there. And yeah, then, then the season is already over and we look forward for next year. Which kind of rider would you suggest to ride up in Inica at least once? The people who enjoy the bike, uh, who love good food, who love good trails, making friends and just enjoy every day. We will see you again to defend your title. Yeah, of course. Eh? <laughs> two times win it, three times also try, you know? We have to try, no? So Peter, finisher da Peninica, how does it feel? It feels amazing. Uh, I'm tired, I am sore, uh, I'm exhausted, but it's, it's over six days later, 400 kilometers, 15,000 meters of climbing. It's a good feeling to finish. You have a special jersey, tell us a bit about that. Um, Yes, I do. It's the Cancer 200 Ride for Research. It's a fundraising initiative back home where I'm from, uh, in Perth, Western Australia. Uh, it's a 200 kilometer ride. Uh, and well, uh, we try to raise awareness and funds for cancer research. So, uh, tell us a bit about how it works. How do you do, how do you sign up? How can you contribute to this cancer okay. research? So to sign up, you have to commit to raise two and a half thousand dollars, whether that's through friends and family and, and people of Apeninica. Once you uh, raise your two and a half thousand dollars, you are allowed to ride uh, the ride. It's 100 kilometers to a town called Mandra, south of Perth. And then we have a big festival. We talk about success of cancer research and survival. And then we ride 100 kilometers back the next day. Uh, if you wish to find out how to uh, donate or contribute, is cancer200.com.au You definitely put in some kilometers this week and uh, so how is it going your uh, fundraising so far? So fundraising so far I'm proud to say I've raised uh, six thousand dollars which is well above my target of four thousand. Um, the event is in October so I still have much time to, to raise more funds. Uh, with all the kilometers of Apennica would you suggest to your fellow Riders of Cancer 200 to join us? Um, yeah, if you want, 
if you want a good event to train the legs, uh, to make 100 kilometers or 200 kilometers feel easy, come and do the Apennine. What will you bring back with you to Australia? Uh, amazing memories, some really good friends we've made, uh, fantastic food, and the realization that Italians are very, very welcoming and friendly people.